<laughs> and for some reason, Hollywood, Hollywood could not grasp the concept that back then, shit was new! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the old West back then, it was just the fucking West! <laughs> Like, cowboys didn't walk around and go, man, it sure is hard to live in the past like we did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait until they admit that thing I can't possibly conceive of yet. <laughs> you will test my gun like that. Cowboy <laughs> that makes me a cowboy doing this. Um, I have some other movies here. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'll, I'll end on this because it's, it's kind of long. But there's this movie, and this Rick, because this is an obscure movie story. Did you ever seen a movie called Freaks? Yeah. 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 Alright, for those of you that have it, there's a yeah. movie from the 30s, directed by the guy that did, like, the original Dracula, like, the original, like, Bela Lugosi. I thought the shot good blood, Dracula. This guy, Todd Browning, he made this movie called Freaks, which is a horror movie about circus freaks using all real-life circus freaks. <laughs> you know, they've got, like, a bearded lady and a two-headed girl and a fucking, like, like a human torso and a bunch of pinheads. Like, you guys even know what pinheads are? They're, they're not a thing anymore. Like, we don't have them anymore. Like, once they stop giving pregnant women a like we stop having a <laughs> But they're like, they're, they're like, they're mentally challenged people who like, they only grow hair, like they have a ton of cold, a cone shaped head. They only go grow hair at the very top and very strange like, but they were great for free shows, apparently. Anyway, there's this scene in the movie, which if you haven't seen the movie, I'm sure you've all seen this parody, because it's a parody of so much stuff, where all the freaks gather around this woman and they're later going to disfigure, they start chanting, Google gobble, Google gobble, one of us, one of us. We yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then they got, like they got the parody of South Park, uh, Wolf of Wall Street is in there. It's one of the Ultimate Twin movies. <laughs> it is. Wishing Goals. <laughs> <laughs> it's not their best movie. It's not their worst. <laughs> <laughs> the West was fun with three bags. Anyway, so like, I'm, I'm watching this thing and I'll chant, like, get a little gobble, get a little gobble, one out of us. And, like, we're just watching that, it, it just reeks of just, like, a last minute, like, script change. <laughs> like, that original, like, the original line was just, like, one out of us, one out of us. The director, who I just imagined is some, like, eccentric 1920s, like, I'll put you in the top of pictures, kid. Like, 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 cut, cut, cut. Like, what's the problem? He's not freaking out. Like, well, what do you want to do? I don't know. Same like a freak would say. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we're just, we just have like birth defects. We're not actually like, not, not that freak. <laughs> like, I don't know. Google gobble. <laughs> we just never said, show you a freak. Damn. <laughs> and I like to think it's a, it's a line been trying to get in movies for like a long time. Like, like, like the original Dracula script, like when Bella goes, he jumps out behind the curtain at the damn on the stress and goes, about to suck your blood. The original line was just, Google gobble. <laughs> Because if that was the case, like, here's the thing, like, every Dracula movie you see these days, like, every vampire is just based off, like, Bela Lugosi's, like, vampire. Like, for instance, like, like the, the, the pirate in Treasure Island was the first pirate ever to say, "R," and now all pirates do that, you know what I mean? Because those classic movies just shape, like, like our image of, of these sort of, like, caricatures. And so, had that line been in the original Dracula, we'd have movies these days where, like, a closet gay, sparkly face vampire like creeps up behind this girl that he's about to perform statutory rape on. <laughs> <laughs> like leaves her ear and just goes, Get a little <laughs> 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 Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no friend, is this your is this your first time in the cell? This is my very first time in the cell. Wow. Yeah. How how does that feel? Um, I'm actually a little disturbed by how well I did it. <laughs> <laughs> how so? Do tell. Was that? Do tell. How, how, what, what, what happened to me? Yeah, yeah, last yeah. night at the open mic, like, I wrote, like, a, like, a, like, I'll just do, like, my clever, witty, fucking joke to Hickers, like, in New York, and then I watched, like, five comics, and I just crossed off my whole set. <laughs> and then I, like, looked, and I looked at the list of all my old jokes, and I was like, oh, I love these ones, but people find them too offensive. And then I did those ones, and you guys fucking loved it. Welcome, <laughs> to, the yeah. Welcome to the South. Yeah. The, the thing about the South is you, 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 you know where you stand. You never, you never have to wonder. You know, like, asshole racist. No, no, no. He will tell you. So you're enjoying yourself so far? I am, absolutely. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we look forward to seeing more of you. I'm, I'm, I'm from Denver, and usually, like, when, like whenever I'm people are weed, they're like, oh, you smoke weed. I'm like, dude, I'm from Denver. You could handle yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, out, like, in Memphis, it's like, I'm from Denver. You guys love it, Denver. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen.